I should be extra careful in this area. The sun and moon combined could not grant the beauty that my bride-to-be was gifted. If the gods blessed me, they did so with one eye closed. But their eyes were wide open for her. Please stop. Your poetry is sweet enough to make someone vomit. I won't stop until the whole world knows how I feel. So, you're in love. Yes, the wedding nears, and there is so much to be done. If you need help, I'm here for you. Accepting before knowing what I ask of you? That's a rare surprise. I do still need a few things. Food for an offering, a ring, and some flowers. If you could bring them to my bride, Iris, she'll make use of them. I've known you for a while now, but you've never mentioned Iris. There's plenty I haven't mentioned. I'm sure you could say the same to me. So what is it about Iris that turns you into, uh, well, what I saw? You're not jealous, are you? Don't worry, she's very open. I suppose that's one of my favorite things about her, the openness. So, flowers, a ring, and food. Where can I find Iris? She should be at the Altar of Love. Aptly named, don't you think? Oh, and uh, don't be too taken by her beauty. Hopefully this jewelry is up to Alcibiades' standards. I'll be on high alert here. I think this will be a nice enough offering. Get out of here! For the gods! These flowers should be good enough for the wedding. Let me guess. Alcibiades sent you. He did? How did you know? He has a skill for making others do things he doesn't want to. On top of that, he prefers if those people are attractive. He's so predictable. It's what made this whole thing so easy. It almost sounds like you're using him. What has been easy? Making him fall in love with me, of course. Please, Alkiviadis is not the man you marry for love. Then why are you marrying him? Alkiviadis has a true chance of ruling one day. Well, he'll be the face, but I'll be the one truly leading. The Aspasia to his Pericles. How can you treat someone like Alkiviadis that way? Oh, please. If anyone deserves it, it's Alkiviadis. Surely you've noticed. The obsession with sex, the lies, the drinking. So lying to him is what he deserves? Of course, and it's not like he'll get nothing in return. I mean, look at me. And what if I tell Alcibiades all of this? 
Why would you? You've seen him. He's happy. And I'll make sure he stays that way. There's nothing wrong with me getting something in return. But it's your choice. Thanks for helping with the wedding. Please, I have a lot to attend to. It's all done. Wonderful. So, what did you think about Iris? You must see something in her that I don't. Well, that's true. Quite often, too. But still, I'm surprised to hear you say that. You can't marry her. She told me she's using you for her own gain. Is that so? It is. I knew she was special. To think I wasn't able to catch on. I can't wait to marry her. Uh. I'm glad you and I were able to work together, Alexios. So what was all of this for? Everything you had me do couldn't have been for nothing. You burned my trust. Are you sure you want to know? So that package in Corinthia. I almost forgot about that. I needed to get rid of the Oberos to pay off a debt. Plus, I needed spies to infiltrate Vardas's command. And my plan worked, thanks to you. All right. What about the politician? He was brilliant and opposed me. A fatal combination. So he needed replacing. And I had a much dumber man perfect for the job. He survived the party and you got him home safely. But it didn't matter in the end. The woman with the olives was. We talked about this. It wasn't about the woman, but her husband. He governs the trade routes between Attica and Mecharis. Or, uh, I should say, I do now. What about your friend, the one pretending to be a man? That was out of the goodness of my heart. And gods curse anyone who doubts that. I've heard enough. Aren't you going to ask me about Iris? Let me guess. Rich house, respected family. With her wealth, you can rule all of Athens. Of course not. I marry for love. If those other things happen, well, I wouldn't complain. I never would have guessed. It's time everyone sees a more serious Alcabiades. The Alcabiades I've only shown glimpses of in the past. One day you'll see everything I was working toward. And you'll know you helped make it happen. Attica and lands far beyond will thank you, even if they don't know your name. I'm glad I could help. Oh, I'll make sure you don't forget me when you lead Athens. I'd never forget you. You're far too useful. It's such a beautiful day, and there will be so many more to come. Thanks to you, Alexios. <laughs>